Uh, first of all, Coach, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Um, this team uh, last year, if I remember right, um, lost in the first round of the playoffs, a game at Ridge Spring Mineta. Uh, and then now this year you're going to be playing for a state championship. What's the difference between that team and this team? The maturity um, of the guys that I had returning. Like I talked to you early in the year, and I told you I had nine guys returning from last year's team. Only thing we were missing is uh, a point guard. And uh, we find that in Demetric Harden. And these guys are relentless. They stay together. We fight like a family. And uh, here we are. You have these um, stretches of defense where you lock down and put teams out. Um, of course, you, you held one team scoreless for a quarter. Uh, you held a couple of teams with one or two uh, points in a quarter this year. There were 15 game minutes where they didn't have a field goal from the end of the second to deep into the fourth. Uh, you know, and all credit to my guys, I'm not surprised because that's what we pride ourselves on day in and day out, uh, defense, uh, holding the opposing teams um, to minimum points a quarter. They normally get at it. That's, that's a series in our practice where we go at it for maybe an hour, hour, 15 minutes solely on defense. So I'm not surprised by that. Um, you didn't do much different tonight. Or, or this afternoon differently than you have all year in terms of rotating guys in and out. And you could tell it started to wear on, on Calhoun Falls Charter, who, who I think only regularly play six or seven guys. Yeah, uh, you know, I wasn't going to go away from what got us here. This is what we've been doing the entire season. So, you know, the old saying is if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So we continue to go with guys, rotate bodies in just to wear them down. The sole purpose was to wear the guys down, and it was favorable for us. Uh, I thought uh, Trey and... Uh, Mikhail and Drew, when he played, uh, did a, did a good uh, job on the, the Belton kid for them, the, the oh, six eight kid. Oh, absolutely! Uh, I told him simply, don't even jump. Just put your body in them and go with the fundamentals and just box them out. Don't even jump. It's not even worth. He's a six eight kid. He can simply just come over our back and snatch rebounds. Just get body to body and box them out. And we were successful at that tonight. And we limited them to uh, one rebound a bunch of times tonight. So that helped us out a lot. Mike Hill did some uh, Mike Hill stuff. <laughs> that ain't nothing new. <laughs> he never sees to surprise me. Mike Hill is Mike Hill. He's just one of those kids to get it done. Everything he's do, everything, every sport he plays. So uh, Mike Hill is Mike Hill. Um, you got a lot of their guys in foul trouble. I think three, maybe four of them fouled out. Some of them in the third quarter. Uh, the big guy fouled out in the third quarter. Was that something that you would have? Uh, yes, uh, initially coming in, our game plan was to eliminate either number three or number one. Uh, we figured that, would, that was their team nucleus, number three and number one. The entire offense ran through both of those guys, so we targeted those. Simply attack number one while he's sitting in the paint and just always keep a body on number three while he's bringing the ball up the court. And it worked out for us tonight. I've only seen you a few times this year, but this was a pretty thorough performance probably from the end of the first period on was this maybe you think this was your best performance of the year or considering the opponent or no uh it's hard to say we we've, we've had some really good games the entire season I can't really judge this one I know it feels the best because yeah. <laughs> um, we're advancing to the upper state championship it's a great feeling so yeah I'll say yeah okay. this is um so many uh and you, you guys have a deep bench I mean you regularly play t uh, 12 guys and sometimes you'll get all 14 Right. And, and, and almost all of them score. Right. But just uh, Grant, uh, Talford, all those guys that, that came off the bench today and managed to make a, a contribution that helped, helped turn a close game into a blowout. Yes, I mean, I trust those guys. Like I said, this is something we've been doing the entire season. Uh, we're not going to go from Louisville brand basketball. That's what we do, rotate guys in. We trust them the same. Like I've told you early in the season, my second group probably can start at another school. So we rotate them in comfortably and just let them do what they do out there. I think it's...